Hello traders, I hope you're enjoying your weekend. In the meantime, let me show you what I'm seeing in the charts. Uh, on Friday, no data, not much happening. The US shutdown is still in force. We are testing these levels here, but um, the 8 EMA and so on is, is up here. Here's the 50 EMA turning down. I think uh, we will come and test the underside of this trend line. 50 EMA will drift down, and then if we have still got no resolution in the uh, shutdown dispute, in the, in the negotiations, then I see this coming all the way down to 14,750 and 14,700. And who knows, if we can't hold there, then yeah, this is then lower levels here we come but if you look at the weekly chart let's pull this weekly over so here we are here's here's the top of the channel here's the mid range of this channel so we've come down to we had two weeks of selling, so we've got a reversal bar up here on resistance. Two weeks of selling. We're sitting on this trend line. If we break this week's low, then we could come all the way down to this support here, fourteen thousand two hundred. Um, obviously, we, yeah, we've got lots of layers down here. If we are going to start to get nasty, then um, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll step down. We're not going to just hit the deck but we will step down okay so um, we, we have tested a, a little stopping bar here but wait for Sunday's open put a, uh, a box around Sunday's open and see where they want to take it they could take it higher like I said I think they'll take it higher I think they'll take it back to some of this resistance levels up here maybe even the monthly pivot at, at 15,200 and then if there's no resolution I think they will just drop it. In the meantime let's look at the S&P's. <coughs> S&P's, all the S&P's have done is a 50 EMA test. We've got very extended up here, we hit resistance, came down to the 50 EMA and that's all we're doing. We've tested the 50 EMA, breached it, closed the gap uh, and then closed above. But see this trend line here, we've just narrowly closed above it, but we didn't engulf Thursday's bar. And the NASDAQ is even more interesting. That's that's done really well, that's hold, holding up. But you can see we're at the top of the channel on this NASDAQ. It was a decent close, but um, we didn't engulf Thursday's bar. Any weakness in this, any close below 37.75. And I think that's toast. So the, the Nasdaq is holding up, whereas the Dow is struggling. Let's look at Forex. Um, I love the look of this CAD Swissy. Very, very big move up here. Aussie Swissy's done the same. Uh, we're seeing a decent strength in the CAD and the Aussie, so the commodity currencies and weakness in the uh, more financial based currencies such as the pound and the swissy uh, pound and the um, yeah pound and swissy sorry uh, hammer in the weekly so uh, I would love to see a pullback to 87.60 area 87.70 to see if we can start to go up to the night round 90 I also like the US dollar Swissy even more. I can just find it. US dollar Swissy, big move up. We have hit a trend line here, but it's a new low, close above next day. I think that's con convincing. I would buy 90.35 with a tight stop under 90.70. Now, uh, pound yen. <clears throat> we breached a decent level of support 
um, you know, weak close here. I would 155 is massive. I would short 15650 and see if we can get down to 155. If we can't hold 155, uh, we might dip lower, could easily dip lower, but I would look to see if 155 can hold in the near future and then look to buy that and then ride that back up to the top of the channel. So it's short all now, four heavy days of selling, and um, let's see. So the weekly pivot next week is going to be yeah, weekly pivot is going to be 154. I mean, it's typical of these markets to dip it under a key number. So 154, I would watch that for support. Pound US dollar, <coughs> big sell on Friday, huge, uh, really nice move in the Euro session. I, uh, unfortunately, I wasn't around for the last of it. 160.90 is the short area to see if we can get down to 157, 158. Monthly bar is. A nice nice and bullish so all we're doing here is pulling back and I would like to get involved in that once we settle down um, Euro US is a short signal as well that was a new high closed below next day but we've got decent support here and the weekly finished uh, positive so I'm, I'm leaving the euro and just concentrating on the CAD Swissy, US dollar Swissy, and the pound US. Okay. And Aussie, I talked a lot about the Aussie US. So let's have a quick look at that. I got out of that. Um, decent weekly close. So 93.80 is definitely a buy on that weekly chart. We could, we've got major resistance at 95, we've got 100 EMA up here on the monthly R1. I mean, if you could buy that, uh, I just personally prefer the um, the other ones I've mentioned. Okay, quick, uh, quick look at some stocks, um, because I do like River Edge. I can just find it. I uh, really like this stock. It's fairly cheap as well. I look to buy 15 tomorrow. You can see on the weekly chart we've got massive support down here at 14.22. I think we could go all the way up to 17.18 um, and possibly higher on this one. I do like that a lot. And if we look at some others, this is Cree that I started following sort of a while back. Uh, I liked it very much down here at 55. We're now 72.70. Uh, even Apple is looking okay. There's a little hammer like bar in. So we had a huge move up to 5.11. Got underneath 500. Uh, but I like the way that 50 MA is holding. I think there are some better charts out there though, so I'm not personally trading that one. ALT. Oh, hang on a second. Adobe. There's several that I've got on my waiting list. I would love to see Adobe come back down to 48. I'm not sure we're going to see 48. I'm just getting to the report season as well. Uh, once we get the report season out of the way, we're going to get a clearer view, I think. Um, let's have a look at some UK stocks. Barclays is nice weekly. We came under the 50 MA and closed above it. Struggling under the, the right in its apex of this 50 and 200. So could chop around a lot more. Centrica got beaten up and is just about hanging onto a trend line. I would steer clear of that for now. BT. 
is doing really well. That's a good weekly close. It's a new high close. New high in this recent run, I should say. I mean, back in the good old days, BT was um, miles away. Very high, 1500. And I like. Well, let me just pick my RBS. Doing well, holding up well. So in all this kerfuffle, these um, UK stocks are doing okay. Tesco got beaten up. Oh, that's that's nasty. I would just leave that to one side. Vodafone. All those patient people who stayed in Vodafone are getting rewarded. Um, that's that's still a fallback at 217. You can see the top of the channel is up there about 225, 230 plus BP. That's what I was looking for. Um, at a hammer on Wednesday, came up here. I would I would love to see that 432 again. And um, so hang around, be patient for that one. See if we get 432. All right, I'll leave it there and enjoy the rest of your weekend. Monday Traders Round Table. I'm going to look at how I use the Sunday Open range and how I use another intraday range to um, assist my Forex trading. So do join me for that. And if you haven't got login details, then drop me a line. Otherwise, I will see you at the next update. And uh, there, I will be cranking the room up and improving the room uh, in the second half of the week. So more details on that. All right, enjoy the rest of your weekend, and see you then.